hey trumpeters and brass players and singers anybody this one will pertain to you this is my general approach to breathing we're trying to get the most natural breath and relaxed breath that we can so that your playing flows out of you and if the breath is tense you're going to have problems right off the bat okay here's one that it's one of the big ones really and that is it's going to be controversial but breathe higher if you breathe down low you're only getting a partial breath your lungs are from here up don't limit your breath to the gut all right here's the diaphragm from here up should expand and I'm going to do another video that gets much more into detail about how to breathe and different approaches that are very natural and musical that will help you play really much much better here's some issues though that cause breathing problems one of them is when you're anxious if you have anxiety if you're nervous when you perform what typically happens you breathe really high which isn't really the problem the problem is you're breathing in too much air for what you need and then you still have air in your gut in your lungs and it's got to get out otherwise it creates tension and what do people usually do they end up breathing in more and more and more instead of relaxing and just breathing in what you need again we'll do more on that in another video another problem is if you have too much tension in the chops it's very important that the center part of your embouchure is relaxed enough so that the air can go through relaxed if this is tight this tends to get tight this tends to get tight and you feel like you have to push more air to get through that tense embouchure so that causes great tension and high notes are gone when that happens it's just not as easy to play another problem teachers tell students to use more air and on trumpet that may be okay for tuba I guess I'm not a tuba player but on trumpet you do not want to do that okay if you just blow more air you end up forcing through the instrument you need to figure out the natural approach to playing the trumpet where the amount of air that you need to produce what you're playing is what you come up with and that takes a little experimenting sometimes but it really can help all right, so the other one I talked about is breathing low. If you push that breath down here, you can't get a full breath. And I've mentioned this before, but I get a backache when I'm trying to play high if I breathe down too low. I'm down in my core too much, right? So you're going to definitely want to come up into here, from here up. And then the last one that I think is a real problem is telling your students to open their throat when they breathe in, that kind of thing. That's just creating tension in here, right? We'll get into that on the video about breathing that has to do with inhaling and exhaling and make it as natural as possible. So keep breathing, everybody. Thanks for watching, Trumpeters. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you have any other topics you'd like me to explore, please add them to the comments below or contact me at paulshewan.net. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.